the father of hot dogging. How does that make you feel? Proud and old? It makes me feel old, right? Tony said I was nearly 50 years old in the mag in Water Ski Magazine, but actually it's 43. I could kill him for that. <laughs> How did you become the father of hot dogging? Well, I, actually, I just uh, it didn't have a ramp, didn't have a slalom course. A lot of people want to get into competitive water skiing, but it, it requires a slalom course or a jump or something. They're hard to come by, so I just started doing my own thing, and, and I started doing tricks on a slalom ski. I didn't have a trick ski at the time. So people told me it looks a lot like it's similar to hot dog skiing that they did snow skiing. So that's really where the, the, the hot dogging came about was it, it taken from snow skiing. Now obviously you have to have a lot of skill, but for you, you've got such a creative imagination as well and the skill to support that. Well, actually, when I was hot dog skiing, it was just basic tricks that were actually done trick skiing. It's, it, it's, it's Tony and it's Roger and it, it, there's some of the skiers down here that are really being imaginative. I, I can't believe some of the tricks they're doing down here. How did you teach Tony? Well, actually, I had a, a water ski school on the Colorado River and I was doing a lot of hot dog skiing and Tony wanted to come down to work for me for the summer and, and make money. It was like his first job and so I just started teaching him all the hot dog tricks and then he passed me up. You know, you teach a kid a few tricks and what does he do? He passes you up. <laughs> but this old dog can still do some tricks. Well, actually I've been posting, uh, spending most of my time now on the air chair, learning tricks on the air chair. Uh, I am one of the principals in the company so it's... Uh, what sells product is people say, what can you do on it? The more you can do, the more you're going to sell. So I've spent a lot of time uh, doing tricks on the air chair, which I like a lot better in a slalom ski because when you fall, the chair takes the grunt of the fall instead of your body. My body is getting a little bit sore for the, those type of falls. Would you have ever thought when you started in, in 57 that you would still be skiing and even inventing things like the air chair at 43? Well, actually, uh, I'm not the inventor of the air chair, it's RBM, there's three of us that actually did it, so I won't take all the credit for that, but uh, I hope to be doing it for another 50 years, actually. It's, uh, I really don't feel much older than I did when I was 20 years old or 15 years old, as long as you keep doing it and doing it and doing it, uh, I'm happy. What's satisfying about it? Well, I think just the accomplishment, the self-accomplishment is, is, is the main thing. Uh, being able to create new tricks uh, that nobody else does is it's fantastic. You know I mean, it's uh, that's that's a real reward. Why are you such a natural? Oh, I think I got it from my mother and father. They're both naturals. My father, uh, back in the olden days, he's he was the hot skier. He used to start off a six foot uh, uh, high dock down at uh, Golden Avenue in Long Beach. Uh, he used to jump the wake with the rope between his legs and clear both both wakes. So I think my father was really the original hot dog skier and my mother, she was always a, a very good water skier. In fact, I used to ski to Catalina Island uh, on Sunday mornings for breakfast training for the Catalina ski race with my mother. My mother skied to Catalina until she was 50 years old. So I, I think it's really in the genes. <laughs> what is your hope for the future of the sport? What would be a dream come true for the sport? Well, I would really, I, I would really like to see a a hot dog, air chair, tournament, championship or whatever. I, I, I think the time is, is, is right around the corner to do that. I mean, we got, a, like you've seen down here today, we, there's a dozen very, very good competitive uh, hot dog water skiers. We've got a lot of guys now on air chairs doing tricks and flips and stuff. And I, I, I would really like to see a tournament held at Marine Stadium for hot dog water skiing and air chairing. That, that, that would make my day.